Hi, my name is Chad Williams, and today we're going to make a professional effects plot. So let's start off with some data. Plot underscore data equals data dot frame. And we're going to have four different distributions here. So let's say we have two different groups, and they each have two different conditions. So our groups are going to be first and second, and then our conditions will be early and late. So we need four distributions. So we're going to concatenate them with C. We're going to use the R norm function. So we have 10 people a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of two. Same thing, but a mean of 15. Same thing, but a mean of 12. And then finally, same thing, but a mean of six. Next, we need to define our groups. So we're gonna use the rep function. So we're gonna say our first group is gonna be titled first, and we're gonna need 20 of them because they each have two conditions, so 10 plus 10 equals 20. And then our second one is going to be rep second with, again, 20. Now the last thing we need is our conditions. So what we're going to do is something very similar to what we have here, where I'm going to just copy paste it and then change a bit here. So we're going to say early and then late. But what you'll see is we're going to change these 20s to 10. So it's only 10 early for group one, then 10 late for group one. Then we want to repeat this twice, so I'm just going to copy paste it. Um, and then this will be for the second group, and you'll see that in a moment here. So if we run that, what we get is our values, and then our first group has early and late condition, and our second group also has early and late condition. Great. So next we need our packages, ggplot. It's actually ggplot2, and we're going to use the hmiss package as well. So don't forget to run that. Let's start off by setting up our actual plot here. So in ggplot, we're gonna use aesthetics, x equals groups, y equals values, and then our group equals conditions. And you could have put groups here and conditions there, that's up to you. Then you could put data after the aesthetics equals plot underscore data, which is just our data frame up here. So if we run that, we get nothing except for an empty plot. So let's fill that plot in. So we're going to use stat summary here, which is from the hmiss package. And we're going to say our function equals mean. So we want the means. And then our geom equals point. If we run that, what we see is our four different points that we defined. Great. That's not good enough for me because I want to connect these with the line. So we're going to use function equals mean again, and then but our geom now equals line. So if we run that, we have lines between them. It's still a little bit confusing what's going on because we know what groups they're in, but we don't know which one's which for the conditions. So we're going to color code it. So in the aesthetics, let's put color equals conditions. And we're going to use color because that's what defines the color of these points and lines. So what we get is our effects plot with conditions and groups, but let's get rid of that gray background. So we're gonna add theme underscore classic. And if we do that, now we have a professional effects plot. 